everyone, Tracy here. Today I thought I'd share with you my July pages in my Fobonichi journal. And one of my friends, I just want to tell you, one of my friends thinks the word Fobonichi is hilarious. She loves when I say that I'm working on my Fobonichi journal. She just thinks that's a funny word. So the first thing I'm going to do is go through my goals. And every red heart represents that I've walked over 10,000 steps. And as you can see, every day I did just that. And some days I walked over 20,000 steps. And then these blue hearts represent when I have a can of Coke because I'm trying to limit my intake of Coca-Cola. So I still had four cans, just I usually have them on the weekend, but I had it throughout the week as well. And then the glasses, they represent when I read a book. And I actually read three books this month, so um, that is good. I'm lucky if I get one book in a month, but I got three books in this month. So that was that was a, a bonus for me. As for the rest of my crafting or creating, it was mostly wedding. It wasn't layouts and stuff like that. It was things to do with the, with the wedding. So I didn't get to do any of those. July 1st here in Canada is Canada Day. And most of the businesses are off that day. But my husband and his crew, they took the Monday off to get a long weekend out of it. So he had to work. To, on that Wednesday so I invited my girlfriend over and we crafted so I actually did get to do some crafts of my own because what we did was we made pocket letters and she is blaming me for getting her on the pocket letter bandwagon because I showed her some of the ones that I did or some of the ones that I'd received and she really liked them so she's been doing them but she doesn't swap she just makes them for herself my two younger daughters went to my oldest daughter's house and they had a fire in her backyard. She made a fire pit and it was approved so she can have fires in her backyard. The firemen have to come and approve it. So that's what they did. They went over there and enjoyed a fire on Canada Day. And actually I enjoyed some fireworks just from the comfort of my living room. There was, um, I guess a neighbor a few streets down, they had purchased all these fireworks and it was great. It was probably better than the city's fireworks. I did a prompt from the Fobonichi journalers and what you were supposed to do was you were supposed to use the letters in your name and then describe yourself. So I wrote that I am trustworthy, tedious to detail, and my husband told me to write talented. I wrote Wayne's Choice because I am not that big headed that I would think that I am all that talented. And then R, I wrote reliable, a realist, and a reader. A, I wrote artistic, active, and I couldn't think of another one for A. So um, I'm sure other people can think of another word for A that would apply to me, but uh, yeah, I couldn't think of another one. C, I wrote creative, courteous, and courageous. And Y, I wrote young at heart, yappy, and a YouTuber. And here is another prompt, and it's 30 things that make me smile. And I'm not going to read them, but if you wanted to, you can pause. Maybe you can read them if you really wanted to. And then on this day, we were at camp. But um, my daughter, Ashley, she had her bachelorette party, her maid of honor, and the bridesmaids put it on. And she's pretty um, a laid-back kind of girl, so she's not really into partying or anything like that. So they had the bachelorette party at the maid of honor's mother's house, who has a pool. So they went swimming and enjoyed that. Then they went back to Ashley's house, and um, I think she had a sleepover, and I think they played video games because that's just what she loves to do. So we were still at camp on Sunday but we came home a little earlier because we were going out for dinner with Tyler who is Ashley's husband now, fiance then. We were going out with his parents for supper. Well my husband has never met, had never met them before this day even though they were dating for four or five years before that. I met them um, both briefly like a hello how are you doing kind of thing. But I've become friends with um, the mother. Her name is Karen. Her and I get along really well and have a lot of things in common. So I get along well with her and we spent a lot of time together when we were planning the, the bridal shower. So we had never met really the father. So we all went out for dinner and it was really nice evening, really nice people. And then the next day, um, Karen, that's that's uh, Ashley's now mother-in-law, she wanted to go shopping with me because she knew that I didn't have a uh, mother of the bride dress for the wedding and Ashley was very um, nervous because I didn't have one so we went dress shopping that day but not all I didn't find any that I truly loved any dresses some of the stores were closed so we went the next day as well 
on the Tuesday, so we went dress shopping as well again. And I actually found a dress, and let me just show you a picture. There's the dress. That's my da my daughter and I. We went to a show that day, but here is the dress that I picked for my daughter's wedding. And the story behind that dress is it was we went to a high-end shop and this is a designer dress worth many hundreds of dollars, I guess. And they had it on this rack for sale. I guess it was um discounted because of maybe the color or the de designer's not designing that dress anymore or whatever reason. So I tried it on. It was, I don't know how many sizes too big. So I got them to clip me in the back to see what it looked like once it was taken in. And I liked the color. I liked the fit and it looked good on me. Karen, Tyler's mom, she loved it. So I went into the changing room to change and I saw the price tag. And when I came out, I said to Karen, I'm buying this dress, even if I'm not wearing it for the wedding. And she's like, why? How much is it? And, uh, I told her it's ten dollars and she's like you gotta be kidding me and I'm like no it is ten dollars she goes well then if you have to pay extras for alterations to get done quickly because sometimes it takes a long time her dress took forever to get altered she said then it's, it's you don't feel bad paying extra I go oh I'm not paying somebody to alter it I'll do it myself and she's like you can do that and I'm like, yeah, I used to make my own my own clothes. Like, yeah, I could do that. So, yeah, I got the Mother of the Bride dress for $10. And, uh, yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. And then on here it says, another prompt, what I like most about summer. And I think I wrote, I just like more or less the weather. I like warm weather. I do not like winter. And, of course, being at our cottage. And then this day, my daughter Heather and I, we went to go and see what show was that. What was it now? Inside Out. We went to go. Her and I like to watch um, animated movies. So if there's one, it's her and I that usually go to it. And then on this day, I completed the boutonnieres and the wrist corsages. So there's a picture of the boutonnieres. And then there is a picture of the wrist corsages I made for the parents or the mothers. And then obviously the mothers get the wrist corsages. And then this is the boutonnieres for the groomsmen, the groom. And then I had to make a couple more for the for the dads. And this prompt is, where do I see myself in five years? And most people are going to disagree with me because it is ingrained in us that we have to do better and do more than what we're doing now. But this is what I wrote. Some may think this is a waste of life, but I hope to see myself in the same place I am now. I love my life. I really do. And I have a great family. My husband and I are in a great place in our lives. My daughters are my world, and they love and want to be near us. Plus, they are happy in their lives. I am, a, I am in a good place. I appreciate my life and what I have and what I have earned. I also have wonderful friends. What more can I want in life? Looking forward to my husband retiring whenever he decides to do that. So that's why I think a lot of people would probably disagree with me because they, most people want to get um, uh, higher up in life. Whereas I'm happy where I am. And this wasn't a prompt on this day, but this washi tape actually, this follow your dreams, this actually prompted me to write this. And so I wrote, you know, I never had a dream. As a child, I never really had a dream or a goal. Maybe that is why I've never been disappointed. The only thing I wanted was to have a place of my own, my own apartment. When I moved out of my parents' house at 16, I got my own apartment it was a basement apartment, not an apartment building. I always wanted to live in like an apartment building. Well, I got an apartment, but it wasn't it wasn't what what I thought it was going to be. But what did I write? I really in, did enjoy living on my own. I enjoyed the quiet evenings, reading after work. I would stay up late, just enjoy being by myself. Sometimes dreams can be overrated. So that is what I wrote for that. What is this? This is just another. This is Sunday. Oh, the, the family was up at camp that weekend. And there's my daughter, Ashley. She took a selfie underwater. And uh, she calls that her little mermaid look. Because she loved the little mermaid when she was younger. And she's got red hair. So I thought, oh, that's a fun, fun picture. But, oh, and I also joined on um, Facebook on the Fobonichi Journalers site. There is now a Fobonichi Journalers book club. And I joined the book club because I wanted to read more this year. So I thought they would have some good good um, books to read. 
Plus, I thought if I had to finish a book by a certain due date that I'd actually read more. This is another... See what happens when I stay stay up to date? Because July, I think I was pretty up to date. And the more I notice that I keep up to date, the more I do the prompts that they, they share on there, on the Fobonichi Journaler site. So this one is, who are the people you can depend on? And I wrote one of my friends that I can... Besides my family, I wrote my friends. And um, I also wrote... That we may not see life in the same way, but we can each have different views, but still respect each other's opinions. That makes a good friend. You don't have to be exactly the same as your friends, but to just respect each other is a good quality to have in a friendship. And then this day, Heather and I went driving. Just my average, ordinary day. So another prompt from the Fobonichi Journaler site was your favorite word or favorite words. And I wrote... Love is one of my favorite words. I use it a lot. Some may think I overuse this word, but I don't think that is possible to overuse a word that so many seek to hear. There are so many people and things to love in this world. Some may say not to use the word on things or objects, but I disagree. Why can't a favorite pen be loved or a favorite stuffed animal? Because that object can't love you back? There are so many who love someone who can't return that love back. Does that mean they shouldn't be loved? I do use that word a lot. And then, and I use that word a lot too. And then, every time I'm going to switch a page, I always say, and then. So that's why there's so many cutouts in here, because I use that word and it drives me crazy. Then I just, there we go. I just wrote my day and what I did on that day. See, there's not as much artsy stuff because I did so much journaling in here. I just wrote that I was went to the library to go and get um, one of the book club books, and it was Orphan Train, I think. And they didn't have it. I really wanted to read something on our drive to camp that weekend, so I asked the librarian, and she gave me like four books. And then they told me that they had a stack of books they were giving away. They don't want back. And I didn't have my cheaters on, so I asked my daughter Chrissy to go pick some books out. So I think she picked me out of four books too. So I had like a lot of reading material. Yeah, and I used, I did it, well, not very artistic, but I used a sticker there to represent one of the words. And then I used some of that faux um, calligraphy or faux calligraphy. And if you've noticed, I haven't been writing... Um, at the bottom, I usually wrote what I was thankful for, but I wanted more room to actually journal because I knew it was going to be a busy month being it summer. So I thought, oh, I'll just see how this goes. I was just playing around with my setup because usually I have it like that. So I have my art blocks usually up here and I have what I'm thankful for down there. And I just wanted to mix it up a bit. So, but this, this is a lot of writing, I'll tell you. And this was another prompt from the Fobonichi Journaler site. If a genie granted me three wishes, what would I wish for? And it's funny because my girls even know what I wish for. Because when I blow out my candles, or if I'm making a wish and I win with the wishbone, it's always the same thing. And it's to have a happy, healthy family. I would wish that my family would have a healthy life. There is nothing more heartbreaking than seeing a loved one suffer, especially your children. And my second wish, I would wish that my family would have a happy life. Are we not all striving to be happy? But to live each day with happiness would be the blessing to everyone. Most dream of having a big house, a new car, or the next vacation will bring them happiness. But to live each ordinary day and be happy, that would be my wish. And the third one, this last wish is difficult to come up with. I would be content with just my two wishes coming true. But I guess my third wish would be to not lose my memory. I think... I might have read um, um, still Alice after this one. I don't know. I think I would be so. I think it would be so hard on my family to have their wife and mother not remember who they are or the memories they had together. So that is that one. And this day, my daughter Heather passed her last driving test. I don't know about where you are, but in where I am, I'm not sure if it's all the way across Canada or just in our province, but you have to take three tests in order to get your driver's license. You have to take a written test, you have to take a driving test, like a road test, and then your third test you have to drive on the highway. So she passed it. So we, I took her out for ice cream and I saved the little ice cream. I always get a kitty size ice cream and I saved the little thing they wrap it in. And this page here, I was behind. I had no idea what I did. So I just wrote, 
move along, nothing to see here, because I had no idea what the heck I did that day. So what I did do too was I used that folligraphy and I colored them in. And I'm looking at this now with my glasses on and um, I didn't color this in very well. We'll just say I didn't have my cheaters on when I was coloring it in because I'm like, that doesn't look very good. And this day was my daughter's 26th birthday. And then my sister-in-law came over and we started to, I needed somebody to help me pin the dress. I could have sewn it all myself, but it's kind of hard to pin a dress that is like two sizes, at least two sizes too big. So I asked her to come over. So um, her and I did that. And then she came over the next day because there was a few things that we had to fine tune on it. So um, what I did was I just took a picture of my sewing machine working on it. And then this day, see this day was the 22nd. That's my daughter's birthday. My oldest daughter, Ashley, it's her birthday. And I brought her some ice cream cupcakes from Dairy Queen that day. She loves Dairy Queen. And then this day was my father-in-law's 84th birthday. We celebrated his house. And then on this Friday, this was my 48th birthday. And this was such a great birthday. I knew my girls were coming up to camp, but I didn't know when. I thought they were going to come up later because my husband and I were going up a little bit earlier. But what they did was they surprised me by getting out there before my husband and I were out there. They decorated, put all, like, put my gifts on the table, and they hid. So when we pulled up to the gate and I saw some balloons on the gate, I was, like, confused. And I knew the balloons because they were from my daughter's bachelorette party. I should have put a picture on there. She erased bachelorette and wrote birthday on there. So I knew the balloons were from her. And I'm like, how did these get out here? Did they give them to my father-in-law? Because they have a camp out there. And did he put these up here? Like, I was totally, like, dense. I had no idea. So I told my husband, I'm going to walk down. I'm not going to drive. While he was undoing the gate, I said, I'm going to walk down to the camp. And so I did, and as I did that, they all ran out and they surprised me, and it was it was so sweet, it was so touching. And it's funny because as we're driving there, my daughter's texting me, asking me, so where are you now? Let's play the, they play this game where if they're in different vehicles, they'll say like, oh, where are you now? And then you're like, oh, I'm passing the time plaque, or I'm, I'm passing a train or whatever, so they can know where you are. And they wanted to play that game with me. I'm like, okay, whatever. So, um, I'm so sometimes I can be so dense because I had no idea. And then this is the Saturday. And look at how peaceful that is. Oh, if I was there again, that would be so nice. I love to do that. Just, just, just relax and float around on my, on my raft up at camp. So that's what we did. We all went swimming, and we all went swimming quite a few times. At English River Hotel, that's where our camp is near, they invited us all over for cake to celebrate. I'm sure it was to celebrate my father-in-law's birthday, but they said to celebrate all of our birthday. And I thought that was so sweet that they invited us all over there. So I made them a thank you card, and which I totally forgot to take a picture of. And I didn't realize I took a picture, but I used to always take a picture of the books I read. And I think I still do, but I usually don't do anything with them. But uh, this is one of the books that I read on that day. So it must have been on my drive home. I probably read that. And I didn't realize until I was halfway through that that there is a book before that one. But uh, I don't think you need. I needed to read it. You kind of got the relationship of the friends. But um, there was a couple things in here in this book that kind of ticked me off. And I probably would have put it down, but I wanted to finish reading it. On the 27th was my daughter Christy, my baby. It was her and her boyfriend's five-year anniversary of dating. So that's why I put all the hearts on there. And look at, they're so cute. Ashley did a photo shoot with them up at camp. So on this day, I spent most of the day and most of the evening over at Ashley's. And we completed her centerpieces for her wedding. I made all of these boxes and maybe I'll show them later and do a video because they, they were they were time consuming, but um, they were pretty inexpensive. And then the flowers here, we arranged all those that evening. And the moss is actually, um, I 
the moss was free because I got it from camp and then we dried it out and treated it. So yeah, that was an inexpensive flower arrangement, but m more work than I think um, you would expect. I went shopping with Karen, that is my daughter's now mother-in-law, and we needed to buy shoes. She's like, oh, we have to go shoe shopping. So she had a pair of shoes, but I didn't, and she just loves to shop, obviously. And I found these shoes. Now, look at how sexy those shoes are. Like, seriously, I love them. And I had to buy these little clear plugs because Ashley's wedding was outdoor. So I had to get these plugs put in. These You can just put them on and take them off. And they're clear so you don't even see them. So I wouldn't, like, sink into the ground. And I wore these all night at her wedding. I danced the night off and I wore them. But we're not at that, so I can't talk about that yet. But anyway, we went shopping, we went for lunch, and yeah, we had a really good good time there. And what happened out? Oh, and then this night too also, like I said in many videos, whenever it's one of my friend's birthdays, we go out for dinner and we go to a movie. And so that's what we did. My friend Sharon and Lynn and I, we went out for my birthday dinner and we went out for Chinese food. So that's what we did that day. Ashley and Tyler adopted a puppy. Isn't he so cute? His name is Oscar. He's not that tiny anymore, but oh, he's such a sweetie. I'm not sure him and Sebastian got along at first, Ashley's cat, but uh, yeah, he was so cute. What else was I doing today on that day? My friend came over for tea, and I think I was working on her guest book for her wedding. And then this day here, we went to camp, and it was a long weekend, and well, I'll explain it more, I guess, in August. But um, usually up at camp, for the August long weekend, we have my sister-in-law and my brother-in-law, Sharon and Jim. We have my dad and my stepmom. We have my girls. So that's three of my daughters, their boyfriends. So that's two more. And then my brother, his wife, and their two kids. So usually that long weekend is jam-packed. Well, this year... The only people that came up to camp were Sharon and Jim. Because of the wedding going on, my parents and my brother weren't going to travel here twice. So um, they didn't come this weekend. So it was just Sharon, Jim, and I, and Wayne. So it was a pretty quiet, long weekend. It was really nice, but it was quiet. And for this last page, I just got some stickers and, and wrote uh, books I've read. The stickers are just books and read. The rest is my writing. And then these are the three books that I read this month. Orphan Train, which was one of the, the Frobenichi Journal's book club. That was theirs, was um, Orphan Train. That was their pick. And then Fly Away, I just picked that up from the library. And then Still Alice, I had been asked if I had read that by a few people. So I thought, well, maybe I'll read it. And that I would recommend this still alice and i would recommend orphan train both of those they are great books to read that is it that is all that was my july for 2015. so thank you everyone thank you so much for watching and i hope you all have a very creative weekend bye now